Hey people, um, it's just me again. Well, somebody asked me to make a tutorial on how to um, convert um, source models, you know, source meshes, weapons, humans, whatever, and then get them into 3ds Max. Now I'm using 3ds Max 9, and this is important that you know which version you're using because the differentiation between the two is very is vital in this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, I need to actually find the tool that I need to give you. So I'm going to do a search for it. It's called um, GC F. I've, I've got where it is. You see, that'll be fun, pretty easy. GC Escape. Got all these little things here. You don't have to do this. I'm just trying to find it myself. You know. Um, but, 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 where's the install for that? Okay, there we go. Open containing folder. Don't need this anymore. Okay, now I'm going to be providing some of these tools for you. This allows you to convert, well, to open and convert the you know, materials, textures, models from the source engine. This tool here allows you to import the um, model into 3ds Max. This tool here allows you to import, um, you know, VTF um, files, which is basically the file extension that um, the source models use. As you know, because we created our VTF files in a previous tutorial that you watched. And thank you for watching that. Had some good, co good comments. I hope, I, hope, uh, blah, blah, blah. I hope it helped you. Anyway, without further ado, make sure that A, Steam is shut down, shut Steam down, B, make sure 3ds Max is closed. Okay, now go to GCFscape, and just run this, sorry about this, my mic's been a bit of a twat. Next, I accept, next, 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 create desktop icon, next, install, launch GCFscape, finish. Go to file, open, and then you know, just go into your directory, like mine would be, my, I've made a shortcut to my desktop, I'm at Fury, um, well it's basically in your Steam app folder, Steam app, your Steam apps folder, and you get all this. Now these are the ones that you need, um, source models.gcf and source materials.gcf. Let's open up our models, open, HL2 on the left, models, and press control and the letter F, to find something. I've already got one in here so let's just type human in the search box, find, and you get this. Press control A. Now what I suggest you do is go into my documents and make a folder called models and you need to have to do this but it helps if you want to get all this shit onto your computer. This is what I suggest you do. Go into my documents and create a folder called models and then make more, you know, make, make subdirectories like humans or whatever. Stupid microphone's getting on my nose now, it's getting a bit, bit crackly. But you know, that's where you need to extract the stuff to. Just right click on that and go extract, and extract it to the place where you just put it. Okay, that's that done. Same for materials, file, open, source, this microphone's getting on my nose now. Source, materials, GCF, open, HL2, materials, Control F for find human find. You've got all the materials for it here. You know, you've got all the materials, you can just extract them to wherever you want. You know, okay. Place it down. Once you're happy with that, I am now going to 3D, uh, SMD 3ds Max 9 zip. I'm using 3ds Max 9, by the way. It does help if you're using that. Um, 3ds Max 9, import it. It might work for 3ds Max 8, I'm not sure, you can try it. Let's open it up and go into 3ds Max SMD importer. Put this SMD importer into your C um, program files, Autodesk, 3ds Max 9. Put that into um, the 3ds Max 9 directory, scripts, Startup. Put that file in. Put this file here 
the middle one into the um, scripts startup folder and that's that now we go back into our main folder go back into the main folder 3ds max 9 and then open up vtf import now this is important open that up now i'm using 3ds max 9 if using 3ds max 8 or lower then just click, use this and then put this into your what you do is you put this into your plugins folder okay and you put this into the main folder like that if you're using 3ds max 9 go back uh, max 9 2008 now if you're using a 32-bit 3ds max 9 i think you can find out which version you're using um I'm not exactly sure but to find out what you do is you just open up 3ds max 9 click on help and then go about and you'd find out that way. I'm using a 32 bit. So, what I'd do is I would get this VTF import dot BMI and I'd put it into my plugins folder. Put it into your plugins folder. And the same for this VTF lib for library, you know, VTF lib DLL into the main folder. If you're using a 64 bit, put the VTF import, you know, x64 into the plugins vtf lib x64 into the main folder and you're good to go you're good to go on that um, note I'm gonna fire up 3ds max 9 now and show you what to do from there okay so I'll be right back okay guys I'm back now let, let's fire up our um, first one which is the import go to max script run script startup SMD importer NZP NZP whatever open that then go into, go into this little hammer here max script and click on this thing under utilities scroll down and go scroll down again import SMD now you can just use this to go to your wherever you ex exported your models go there and just browse through them I'll give you an example I'm trying to do this quickly within 10 minutes. Um, go to where you exported your model. Humans, group one. Um, mine's reference, I think. Open. It's opening up. You know, it's trial and error. You know, it's trial and error. I mean, as long as you. Thingy. When it loads up, it should ask me for the materials, and I'll show you what I mean when I when I say you can just go back to that program and find your materials. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, it hasn't actually asked me for them. Oh well. But like I said, there we go. Our model is now in 3ds Max. You've got your little bone bones here, you know, for the animations. Okay, now that's there. Um, now we need to install the VTF import, I believe. File. I'm trying to remember how to do this now. Uh, file. Be right back. I'm going to try and remember how to do it, and then I'll tell you. Actually, I don't need. To, I don't need to tell you how to do that. I don't think, because you just press M for materials. Just put it next to diffuse, bitmap, um, and just go to the files. You know, just go to the. Um oh, for God's sake! Come on, desktop. Oh, I'm running out of time. Go, go to the file where you saved the textures. Right. Materials, materials, models, props, whatever, and here they are. You just scroll down, click file type, all format, scroll down, and it's there. Source VTF, and you can just pick a file from here, like that, and that's how you do it. That is how you convert and import a model from the source engine. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be making more tutorials. And thanks. Take care.